everybody and welcome back to another episode of SPL Social with me Ash and of course this show is brought to you by the Football Association of Singapore, Singapore Premier League, Tampines West CAC and of course Footballita and today I am joined by two guests, two players from two different teams, Young Lions as well as Valencia Kalsia. Joining me today is Ridwan Fikri as well as Gareth Lowe. Thank you so much for joining us today in the show. Firstly, I want to ask you, how has your season been so far, Ridwan? Ah, so far it's not been great, you know, <laughs> losing the first two matches, you know. Yeah. It's hard, yeah, especially after the first match, getting dressed like 5-0. Yeah. It's not good, yeah. And Ridwan, you are the goalkeeper. I'm sure you, you, you do feel as well the pressure sometimes being in the box. You know, guarding the goal. I, I, and as, I, I can imagine what, what, what you face. Maybe can you take me through that? Yeah, you know, being a goalkeeper is one of the hardest positions. You have one of the biggest responsibility inside the field when your team is playing. Like, you know, I, when you concede a goal, they definitely like look at, look at you and then they will yeah. like, oh, what's happening at the back? So, yeah, yeah you have to go, go through all of that. Yeah, the match. We'll, get, we'll get to some of the fan questions as well. And you know, speaking of that, this show is all about you guys, the fans. Um, so I'm getting a lot of questions that you all have some of, for some of the players today. And Gareth, you know, you've been with Ballester as well. So t- take me through as well. I mean, let's talk about the last game since you guys played one another. Um, what a game that was 4-3 in, in the end. And, and Gareth, um, you know, you played in that. So how was your, your um, thoughts on the game? Uh, I think first half especially, we were quite... Uh, tentative and I felt like actually first half uh, Young Lions played much better than us so only towards the later part of the second half then we decided to switch on and then after that sort of changed the game from there la. but I feel like uh, overall the game I felt like we needed to you know, tighten our defence and try to not let the goals in because for the past few games or so we have been conceding a lot of goals yeah yeah, and of course, Ridwan, you played in that, um, and and it was it, you were mentioning as well before the show started. One of the more interesting ones, right? And we conceding that kind of goals, but you know, being able to hold on in the end. So, what was it like um, for you as well? Yeah, I know it was a close game again, Malaysia. Yeah. yeah, we scored that early goal in the 15 minutes, and then a like, few minutes later, they managed to score one, and then after the their first goal, like our team completely like lose focus you know yeah. and then that's what made them to score the second goal and then we went on to half time we had some talks inside the changing room to change things up yep. and then we went into the second half with a completely another plan so we managed to like you know score again and then they managed to score again against us and <laughs> yeah yeah that's football though right guys you know yeah. it does happen right Gareth as well for you like you know, let's talk about the season so far. I know we're already in game week four, so we've got a long uh, SBL season ahead of us. So, you know, you're with Ballester now. What, what are your hopes, um, you know, with, with, with the club, with the Tigers, as they like to call themselves? Um, I feel like now, maybe the sort of in the recent future, I feel like uh, our aim is actually to play the style that we want and the way that Coach Agba wants. Cause I felt like the previous games, we were, there were only spurts uh, in the game that we played how we wanted to play. And I think that showed, but at the same time, we are having a problem with constantly playing it for 90 minutes, how we want to play. So I think, yeah, for the recent future, I think that will be the aim, to play the style that you want to play. And of course, going forward in the season, I personally hope that, you know, the club gets into at least top four so that we can fight for AFC AFC and yeah AFC spot yeah speaking of the style that you know you mentioned about Akbar and Akbar has been on the show a few times as well as a great coach and a great guy can you just talk me through like what is what's his like his philosophy is it more pressing attacking is that what you guys want um, when you're playing on the field Uh, I feel like his philosophy is he's able to adapt I mean at least for me from my personal view I feel like he's able to adapt to the game because sometimes like in, within the game like situations change and then after that he has to or I feel like he has the quick witness to actually yeah. um, you know decide to change some things and then after that from there like our formation or even personnel so then from there we actually improve in the game and sometimes these changes work and if it doesn't also you know at least he's daring enough to 
uh, admit that you know, or oh, this might be wrong, or this may be, uh, this might be right. Yeah. So I think he's very daring. Yeah, as a coach. Ooh, okay. What What about you, um, Ridwan? I mean, you've been with Young Lions for how many seasons now? Uh, this is my third season. All right. So how has it been like uh, three seasons with the Young Lions? And and I know that um, you know they're what they're also seen as our under twenty three side. So you know your your past few years experience with them. Have you been enjoying your football and also with your teammates? I mean, like definitely, there's like an improvement ever since I first came into Young Lions. Back then was two thousand twenty. And then we didn't had a good season back then at 2020 we were like playing we were like losing it in fact yeah. most of the yeah. game and then uh Nick, the following year coach philip had to like took over to help out with coach nazri who was uh unwell for that whole year so well can see some bit of changes made by coach philip like everyone we started to play like comfortably playing out from the back and stuff and then we had like you know few international matches so to prepare for this year's sea games and then coming on to the afc under night under 22 qualifier last year which was held here in singapore like yeah. we were like playing against you know top teams in asia like korea especially you know it was intensive that, yeah. yeah and then followed by this year coach nazri like medically fit back to take us again and then yeah, we try and come back yeah. and, and, and you know, I know that a lot of uh, people out there as well have some things to say about the under 23 team but you guys, I'm sure that you know yeah. that it's not always particularly nice um, but I think it's, it's important for people to understand out there as well that you guys are, you know, week, working hard in week, week in and week out, right? And it's a, a long process, guys, at the end of the day, isn't it? So you guys are coming in and, and hoping to break into the senior team eventually, right? Yeah. of the national team is that how it, is that how it is for you as well yeah i mean definitely like all of us want to play for the national team one day but you know it takes time you don't have to like rush things out like yeah <laughs> if you rush things out definitely you won't be able to <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah we try to take one step at a time yeah we improve day by day and then see how it goes all right, Gary, let's go to, you know, um, I'm sure you've heard as well that the SPL has a new um, fantasy football league and it's called the SPL Real Manager. Real Manager, sorry, I said Real as in Real Madrid. But yeah, guys, there is, <laughs> there is a new game in town and you guys can actually download it on the App Store as well as Google Play Store. Look for Real Manager and you'll be able to see. And actually how the game works is that, um, of course, you'll be able to play, you know, field your teams uh, or rather field your players in your fantasy team. SPL teams, of course, and you actually have an unlimited budget, or rather a budget that is amazing. Uh, 120 million uh, euros, I believe, guys. So that's a lot of money uh, to fill your team. Have you have you seen this app? Um, have you guys played played it yet? Maybe yeah, I, I've seen, but just didn't manage to like get time to try it out. You better see how much your valuation <laughs> is, uh, is on the on the app. What, what about you, Gareth? Have you like do you play fantasy football or you play like football yeah, manager? I play uh, fantasy Premier League with my friends. So <laughs> we saw have like our uh, own bet going on, and then after that, yeah, then so some of them actually notified me. Actually, I wasn't the one that actually found out about the okay. the game, the SPL one. So it was actually my friends that sent me through Telegram. Then they were showing, oh, this is my valuation, <laughs> this is some players' valuation. Then they were saying, like, oh, why uh, some players are so cheap, some players are so expensive. And yeah, I think it's quite a fun thing, la, and especially it's quite exciting also to see like yeah. how much changes there are and like how they sort of like SPL and has adapt to, you know, uh, or try to follow into Premier League style. Yeah, so I think it's quite fun. La. You know, since you mentioned valuation, I actually want to see how much your valuation is on the app, guys. <laughs> you know, that's the fun part. Did, did your friends make fun of you when they saw your valuation on the app, yeah, guys? Yeah, my friends actually created Steam and then after that, uh, they didn't even decide to put me inside also. So no! I was like... <laughs> <laughs> how can you not put Gareth in your, in your no. team? Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is how the app looks like, guys. It's called uh, Singapore. It has the uh, SPL team in front. So I'm going to go look now and go ahead and look for Gareth's valuation. If I can find, because it's, uh, yeah, let's see. Um, okay. Do you know how much your valuation is? Ridwan, do you know how much you are worth on uh, the app now? Totally no idea. Okay, let's, let's look for, ah, now Gareth, I see you're worth 6, six million. Oh. Okay, decent. Uh, no, decent. decent. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I guys, expected worse, I guess. Yeah. So okay. So it even says um the uh, I mean obviously the probability of you being able to start um the next game and you know what you're actually the most popular player on the app so maybe your friends have been starting you in the maybe yeah. maybe <laughs> so guys you know if you wanna be you wanna you know get get a player don't forget because Gareth Lowe is actually one of the more popular ones and yeah I mean you're at seventy two points so guys this week we are giving out prizes for the real manager um app so don't forget to of course share with me your screenshot let me know who made your team. And we'll see, you know, maybe um, one of you all might actually win uh, the league at the end of the season. Who knows? Okay, moving on to part two of the show. We're actually going to ask these gentlemen here some of the fan questions, more of the fun stuff, which is why we have SPL Social, guys. Because we want to get you guys involved with your favourite players. So, Vidron, I'll start with you first. I've got a question from Charmaine and she wants to know, you know, what are your plans after Young Lions? Uh, really, after Young Lions, my plan is to, like, find a club outside where I could continue my football journey, you know, because that's where, like, I will continue to learn more and more, you know, and then hopefully one day, obviously, to make up to the national team, yeah. Hopefully, you will get to go to the national team, buddy. I know it is quite competitive. Um, I'm sure you know that we have many, many yeah. senior goalkeepers, but, um, you know, speaking of that, um, Gary, I want to go to you right now. Um, you know, do you have any football idols growing up, local and also, and also overseas? Um, I think I think the top of my head maybe because I'm an Arsenal fan so and I only watch like s certain periods of Arsenal so the one that sort of kick-started uh, me watching Arsenal was Jack Wilshere oh yeah although I, I don't think he might be very popular yeah, but because of his injuries yeah yeah but I think that was I think he was sort of my idol at the at the point of time when I was starting to watch football yeah. Any any local football idols that, that you grew up watching or idolised? Yeah, local footballers, I guess I idolised like Shadan because I was playing, I think midfield so like people like Shadan were my idols cause, and even Harry Saran because like I think the professionalism outside the pitch also they show and uh, inside the pitch as well so I think these are the really and they have won also, sorry, a lot of uh, titles for Singapore as well so I think there is a dream to become like them as well Okay so next question Javier Yo has for you Ridwan if you've got a choice will you play with Young Lions or team with an experienced player to guide you? I mean uh, that's a tough question man <laughs> I mean obviously I, wa I want to play for a club like an outside club because, like I said, that's where you will get to learn, you will get to play with, like, you know, senior players. Then they will, like, guide you more. Whereas, like, playing in Young Lions, obviously, uh, you will be playing, like, with the players of your same batch, you know. And then, like, I don't say, like, you might not be able to learn a lot, but that's where the challenge comes, where you all will have to, like, you know, work together without the help of like you know senior players like other clubs do like foreigners you know so that's one thing that that's yeah, what that's one you, reason yeah. why I want to play for Young Lions because I would like to take up the challenge where you have to work with your own batch yep. you know yep. whereas playing for other clubs you have like you know senior players so that's where the experience come in yep. uh, yeah absolutely and Gary what about you I wanted to ask as well like are you close to anyone in the team who's like Who's your best friend in the team and who do you usually like banter with or hang out with? Uh, particular best friend, I would <laughs> Everyone watching you <laughs> going, who is my, uh, is Gareth going to pick me? I don't know. No, I, as in particular best friend, I don't, I can't really pinpoint but I guess I get along quite well with the rest, the whole team. Even the young ones and the older ones as well. And I think even last year or this year in Balesti also, the young ones and the old ones, actually we can talk to each other. Uh, freely and it's very easy for like especially the young players to go up to the senior players and like or joke with them ah. or even ask them about advice as well yeah I think like and we also have like a sort of a joke around where like oh there's a good core of Chinese uh, people in our team now so <laughs> like there's always yeah we always banter there so like people like Iggy, Wailun yeah yeah, yeah. Iggy and Wailun shout out to you guys okay <laughs> And anyway, Ridwan, I want to ask you as well. Um, you know, because Young Lions are very popular on social media, I'm sure you know, you guys are all over TikTok. I'm not going to comment so much about that. But you know, some of the dances that I see from all the fans that follow you guys. 
Can I just ask, what is the vibe in the team? Are you guys like all close? Is there like a, you know, someone you're closest to, you know, you joke with the most? Uh, basically, we are just close with each other inside the team. Like, we don't specifically have like, you know, uh, I'm with this person, like, I'm close with this person. Like, the hype is really good inside the team, but, you know, sometimes we have also like few jokers inside the team where... Who, who are the jokers? <laughs> uh, definitely one of them is Daniel Go because he will always, you know, you know, how is it like when he starts his nonsense joke, he will start to like disturb the other players and stuff. Even like the coaches also, like sometimes he will joke with them and then, yeah, we also have like another bunch of jokers like, you know, Said Akma. Yeah. Like he's one of the, the most noisiest player inside the team. Every time he comes to training, he will like keep shouting and shouting, singing, dancing, all sorts of nonsense he will do. I see some laughs from Gareth. Do you know these this boys as well? Like have you played with them before? Yeah, yeah? both Daniel and Syed, I think when I was in Young Lions or under 23 or so, they were there also. Yeah, so even when they were younger than most of us also, they also uh, can make jokes. Then like, they're not shy lah basically. Yeah. <laughs> But this is so important in football, isn't it? I mean, because there's the stress on the field, you guys need to be able to distress somehow. And, and how do you guys do that in Young Lions? Do you guys have any team bonding that you guys do? Uh, so far, as of now, like, we don't really have like, a team bonding. But, I mean, sometimes during trainings, like, our coach will like, tend to make some activities, you know, like, to get the players to gel with each other, like, you know, get along. Yeah, because, you know, like, every year, every year, in fact, like, every few months, we have, like, new players coming in, you know, because of NS and Eastman and stuff. So, like, it's important for them to, like, gel along with the others because, like, they will be playing with, you know, the players that have been there for, like, yeah. What about you, Gareth? Any team bonding that Balestia does? Because I know that you guys do a lot of CSR work as well. I mean, yeah. you work with a lot of the community, you get involved with them. Is that something that you are also involved in? Uh, yeah, so for team bonding, we actually went for our team like kayaking. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think a few weeks before the season started. So I think that was a fun way also. Like We went to Sentosa and then uh, sort of spent the afternoon uh, kayaking and then after that sort of overturning each other also <laughs> yeah and as for CSR like yeah a lot of the club is actually involved in a lot of uh, CSR initiatives so uh, I think one recent one was um, that I participated in was the coaching of those uh, boys town uh, yeah. kids and yeah you can see from there like they really enjoy the training and they really uh, like to actually participate in the games uh. So you got some questions from the fans here. They want to know, Gareth, um, who inspired you to become a footballer? Was there a reason why you chose this pathway for yourself? Uh, I, would say, I would say from young, I guess my brother was the one that inspired me. Because he, I mean, he, he's not really like in a football scene or anything. It's just that uh, when young, he used to take me to play football with his friends. So from there, I sort of liked the game. Then after that, uh, I just got more interested, more interested, and then after that, that's how it picked up. Uh. Yeah. Okay, what about you, Ridwan? Who inspired you? Is there anyone you know in your life, a family member perhaps? Uh, I would say definitely my dad. Yeah, because you know, when I was a small kid, like, I, start, I started playing football when I was five years old. So, like, he were Usually, my dad last time, he does have he, a best friend of him that owns a like private club, you know, th those where every Saturday, Sunday, they will yes, go at the city. Yeah. Yeah. The grassroots clubs, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, like, his friend in invited me, like, tell him, like, just give me... A chance. Yeah, a chance. So I started, that's where I started playing, playing, playing. And then, like, my dad is the one that, you know, has been supporting me, you know, getting me, like, new boots. Like, last time, you know, every time when new boots come out, like, he will always be the first one, to, you know, to get mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, so that's where like, I feel inspired yeah. and then like, I start to play. You know, I was going to ask you as well, because Singapore has some really great goalkeepers, past and present, um, who have played for our national team, donned the colours of our national team. So, Ridwan, is there any local goalkeepers you can, you know, that, that you look up to or, or you hope to be like one day? Oh, definitely, Siasan. Yeah, 
cost. I mean, by looking at his performance past few years, including now, like it's been superb inside the league. Like everyone is looking at him, you know, making you know good save whatever. Yeah. Hassan, it is for you. Yeah. Have you spoken to Hassan or, or interacted with him yet? Yeah, I've trained with him quite a few times. Like uh, even with the national team last year, like uh, my goalkeeper coach Ramesh like gave me a chance to come down to have like some training time with them. So. That's where like I started to train with him, Izwan, Zaifu and stuff, and then they started to like interact with me lah and talk to me, and that's how like I learned more like about their experience and and stuff. Yeah. But what was the experience like for you? I mean, because clearly that will be you hope that will be your pathway, right? To to play perhaps with them or to get called up, you know, one day to the senior team. Yeah, definitely. I mean. Definitely happy lah to even if I get a chance to train with them. I mean, it's something that I like because, like I said, that's the place where I would want to go one day. You know, so like by having the chance to train with them, at least I know like what are the level, what are the requirements that needed to be up there training with them. Yeah. Absolutely. Speaking of Izwan as well as um Hassan, let's go to Gareth. Your next game, you guys will be facing, you know, the teams of these gentlemen I just mentioned. Lion City Sailors. You guys will be playing them at home. I mean, at their home, which is JBS Jalan Besar Stadium. Um, but Lion City Sailors have shown that in recent weeks, it is not all um, that difficult, you know, to perhaps put one part, one goal past them because they've shown that you know they they are liable to concede actually in the first half. So. Are you guys watching their games and thinking, okay, I think we could try to fight for at least a point in this game? Yeah, of course. I think like, I wouldn't say it's like particularly easy to score past them. Even though maybe recent games like they have been letting in goals. Yeah, they are always a tough team because a lot of uh, national players and a lot of experienced players as well. So I think, and we yeah we will do our homework uh, <laughs> watching them like constantly before the game. So I think. Coach Abba will make sure of it, uh. and I think we will find a way, hopefully. And I think we are more confident after the previous game as well. So I think we will go out there and give our best. Uh. Any particular players from uh, LCS who you know has stood out for you, or who you think you you may need to pay close attention to when you're playing, you know, against them? Uh, I mean, besides their foreigners like Kim Shin Wook and Diego. Uh, I think local players like Adam, uh, Adam Sandy, and even like Harris as well. Yeah, they have a lot of like natural leaders in their team. So I feel like they are always composed and they always know sort of a way to find a win or even the points that they need to get out of the game. Absolutely. Yeah. And Ridwan, for you, you guys are facing the leaders uh, at the top of the table right now, Tanjung Paga, who have really surprised all of us. I tell you, you know, I'm sure. Surprise you guys as well. You're going to be facing them. So what, you know, how how are you, you know, going to be viewing that game or, or approaching that game for that matter? Uh, I mean, like you said, Tanjung Paga uh, has been performing well this season. They have been undefe undefeated for like, their past three games. And then, yeah, definitely, like we have this international break one week to like regroup and then to. S come up with a new plan of how we can overcome them, you know. Like, we have played them before uh, in the pre-season friendly and like, yeah, we won them. But pro probably like they will be coming in with another plan during the season, so we might not know what was their plan. So we have to like, yeah, start to regroup and then think up ahead of them. All right, thank you so much, you know, guys, for coming on SPL Social. I just had to say as well that um, thank you so much as well for sending in your questions. And, you know, it's great to know that you guys are doing, you know, something in the, in the local football scene and continuing to play your hearts out, I would say, week in and week out. So once again, guys, this week we're actually going to be giving out prizes. If you all show us who has made your fantasy team, which is the SPL Real Manager app, don't forget to download that, of course, it's on the App Store as well as Google Play. And please put Gareth and Ridwan in your team, maybe for one match week. They won't disappoint you, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much guys. And of course, I'm Ash Hashim. And don't forget to catch the SPL when it comes back again after the international break. I'll see you guys then.